In this presentation, we're going to look at statistical modeling with or for actuarial students. This is part of the CS2B curriculum with the risk modeling and survival analysis playlist. And that comprises time series analysis, probability distributions and survival analysis. So this is this presentation is very close in terms of content to Markov processes and Markov chains and so on. But there's an important distinction and we'll sort of see soon enough what that is. So let's read the question. Suppose the transition probabil probabilities are a function of the age of a person. The transition probability of a person aged X moving from healthy to sick. So we have three states, healthy, sick and death. So healthy, sick and dead. So the probability of moving from healthy to sick is 0 0.00. 7x from healthy to death is 0 0.001 and from sick to death is 0 0.002 times 100 minus x and from sick to healthy is 0 0.006 times 100 minus x we'll just take all of these at face value okay we don't really know where they're coming from we don't want to know we just you know we obviously we want to know but like we'll just take them as given now, assuming that 100 is the maximum age of a person, calculate the probability of a healthy person aged 30, what's the probability that they will be sick in a sick state after four years? And then a sick person aged 25, what is the probability that they will be in a death state, dead obviously, after seven years? So what we're gonna do is set up our transition matrix. Now, first off, this is not a Markov process. And the reason is that this matrix will change from year to year. They are age to age, so it's not consistent. So if you are 30 years old, there will be one set of values for this transi transition matrix. But when you turn to 31, this transition matrix changes. And that change will be different from when you go from 31 to 32. So that's a very important distinction uh, between Markov chains and Markov processes and what we're doing here. Now, so we're told about the probabilities of going from healthy to sick, okay, which is a function of X. So this is a, essentially a probability value. Also healthy to dead, okay. So essentially the row probabilities have to add up to one. So this is the first, this is the first probability that we're given previously, uh, healthy to sick and healthy to dead. So the total row probability has to add up to one. So the first cell, the top corner here, has to have this value. We were also told that the probability of healthy, sick to healthy, had this formula here, okay? And likewise, sick to healthy, had this formula here. Sick to dead, sick to healthy, okay? So we place that in that cell. So sick to healthy, that's one piece of information we're given that goes there. And then sick to dead, that's the second piece of information that goes there. So being sick and remaining sick, that is the probability that will give a row total equal to one. So add up all the probabilities there, you get a row total of one. Now, Essentially, we're making a big assumption here. I don't think it's that big that if you are dead, you stay dead with a probability of one. So there is no probability of being dead and coming back the next year is healthy. Zero probability of that. Likewise, zero probability of going from dead to sick. So if you're dead, you stay. Dead. Now, the matrix varies from di for different val different values of x and hence it is not a markov process so we're going to have to approach things a slightly different way so we can't use the markov package or anything like that in this case so what i'm going to do there is create some functions there and this provides this is a sort of way of dealing with the information we're given it earlier in the question uh, create a function h to s h to d s to h and s to d okay so Given some input probability or input age, what is the corresponding probability of each of those uh, transitions? Okay. Now, 
This is us setting up the matrix, the transition matrix, transmat. Okay, and I set up as a function of x. And to start off with, I am setting up a matrix of three by three matrix, which just has zeros, just to start off with. And then I'm going to populate my matrix with all of the transition probabilities that I've cre uh, uh, decided upon earlier on. I'll just go back here. Those probabilities there, essentially what I have done there is use the functions I've created here, okay, to populate the matrix and output a matrix M. So the input there is age, X equals age, and what that will do is ca ca calculate the proper transition matrix appropriate for that age. So let's have a look at the transition matrix for a 30 year old. So the probability of being healthy and remaining healthy is 0 0.76. The probability of being sick is 0 0.21 and the probability of being dead 0 0.03. If you are sick at 30 years old, the probability that you'll be healthy next year is 0 0.42. The probability that you rem remain sick is 0 0.44. And the probability that you will be dead is 0 0.14. And likewise, the last row will remain con consistent the whole way through. Uh, like, let's just try that out for 25 because we're asked for 25 year olds and 30 year olds. So that's how that would look there. So you can just sort of see the differences from age group to age group. So exercise one, the we're dealing with a 30 year old. Okay, I'm just gonna set that up, n equals 30. And what the first state is, is healthy. So healthy is one, sick is zero, dead is zero. So that's just uh, setting up my data structures. Just as a quick remark, this is over a period of four years. And I want to have something ready to deal with the sequence of numbers. Because I'm, I'm setting up a for loop, essentially, that will go from 1 to 4. So with an initial value of 30n, I can create a sequence of integers 30, 31, 32, 33. That's the four-year periods. Okay, the four ages that over the four years. Okay. So this is our matrix, uh, sorry, this is our for loop for i in one to four, b gets updated each time by the transition matrix for that year, okay? So when i is equal to one, that will be transition matrix 30, okay? And we multiply that by b. Then when i is equal to th two, that becomes a transition matrix is the transition matrix for a 31 year old. So the B gets updated again. Then B is updated again for 32 year old, 33 year old, and then we were finished. So there we have it there. So that's what B will look like at, after the four years. Okay. So this is the probability that the person will be healthy at 33. This is the probability that they'll be sick at 33. And this is the probability that they'll be dead at 33. Okay, so essentially the probability of a 30 year old being sick in four years time is 26%. 0 0.261 or 0 0.2608138 if you want to go a little bit further with it. We do the same again for a 25 year old. What is the probability that a 25 year old who was currently sick will be dead in seven years time? So n is 25 so we're going to set up this statement uh, vector here 0 1 and 0 0 not healthy sick so 1 for sick 0 for dead okay likewise we set up a for loop from 1 to 7 so this will start at 25 and end at 31 okay and it will consistently update C with the appropriate values uh, from the transition matrix. So when we run that, we get this state matrix or state vector here: 0 0.395, 0 0.172, and 0 0.433.
So there's a probability of a sick person age 25 will be dead after four years. The probability of that is 43%. Very grim, this one, but there you go. All right, leave it there.